right, what's going on? Danny Crew, it's Danny Drew here, and we are back for another day of Catan. In today's game, we are here, which the Twitch crowd in red, bro, didn't even think about his pick. He just slammed that shit down. He's like, that's where I'm going. That's what I'm doing. But we are in the third position, so we have to figure out what are we doing? What do we like here? Plow time seems like a very familiar name to me. Plow time. I'm hoping this guy doesn't come back after me. We just played a game with Red, and he was interesting. Oh, let's, let's put it that way. You know what play I like here, guys? Collaborative frame. I agree. I agree. It's a little bit more difficult, I think, in these kind of games, but I really kind of like this 9 10 5. And there's this idea of 9 10 5 with 6 3 to 8 3. Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, Got to be careful here. I think if we go 8 3 10, 8 4 is open. I think it's a pretty good play for potentially red. The break port's a play as well. There's a, there's a lot here. I think the wood port also has a lot to offer here. Like, there's not a lot of sheep. That's the one thing to note here. Chris coming in with the YouTube. Oof. 84362. 84362. It's playable, man. Honestly, too, like, I'm not hating this whole situation here. Like, 6, 5, 12 to 9, 12 is good. You get the wood and the brick. You pick up the wheat. Don't point up, bro. Don't point up. Don't point up, bro. Mm, okay, okay. I think we have to take the 843 here. Maybe it's 843 and then you just take 62. 843, 6512 is a play. Um, the thing is, is there's a few things with the 843. A, you get a pretty good wheat. You get a 3-1 port. And then you do have the potential to grab like the 9-5-6 and make play kind of like a production game. But I think the thing is, I think this guy's going to go to the 6-3. I really think this guy's going to go 6-3. 8 for 3 point right. Well, the only thing with that is, does 8-10 ever just go? Also, too, like, do you want to race the 9-5-10? The like, for instance, if this guy goes 9-5-10 points right, he might try to like race the 8-10, potentially. You know one setup I really like? I'm not opposed, guys. I'm not opposed. I'd love, like, the 9, 5, 10, 6, 5, 11. I'd play that. I think the 8, 4, 3 is good. I think we've got some outs. It's kind of like, okay, look, we're not probably going to get the ore because the ore is kind of in its own little world. But maybe. The thing is, we just have good outs with this, and we can start with the road. The big question is, do we ever go to the sheep port? I think the answer is no. I think we can blast to the 3-1. I think in this position, the 3-1 is going to treat us a little bit better. Right. You start with the road. Yeah, but how good is the sheet port here? I think the 3-1 is just better. Because you got to think, like, what is our what are our ports going to be doing, right? Like, sheet port only deals with the 4 and the 3. <laughs> Go 8-10. Oh, risky business. Bro, I I like this. Like, this is the this is it. This is it. Um. So he goes six four eleven. Then he just takes the entire center of the board, huh? We also have this ability to run towards the center, bro. I I think this is it. I I think this is great. Side by side, baby. We call this version. Dose. Okay, so order of operations here. I think the three ones probably our best play. This is great. This is a great setup, man. I love it. And it's so hard to block us. Our key roles, being the brick and the weed, are isolated. So, like, let's say you block the four, the three rolls, you block the nine, the ten rolls. So, unless they're going to solo block us, we're always going to have momentum. The one thing, though, is we don't have too much trade ability. I think this player actually thought. I'm pretty sure he thought that he was going to get on to the 6-3. But now it's like you have to kind of change moods a little bit. Maybe you go some like 6-4-11 up to the port here. Um, also, too, like he might. I don't think he'll ever try to race me here. I don't think it's necessary. Blue overthought too hard. I think this is. All right. So I don't really like blue setup. 
it can work. It can work. But what's the issue with blue setup, guys? By the way, we got 73 people from around the world. Thank you so much for being here. I am the sheep herder. Sheep is rare. This is true. Which is good because I can probably um, trade some of that sheep. Too slow. No wheat. No good port. Left space. There's so yeah. There, there's a few issues. There's a few issues. Um, space is one of them, right? So when you go coastal, naturally you leave more on the board for other players, which we're pretty happy about that. We have the wood and the brick. Uh, you are missing certain resources. Like you don't have any starting wheat could slow you down. Your sheep is very poor. Um, and he's going to have to roll the sheep. Yeah. It's kind of, kind of funky. And he's on a lot of keys. So like the six is probably going to get blocked a bit. The five's definitely going to get blocked. The five's a pretty good block here for, for right and myself. Yeah, I think you got to go 6 for 11. Wow. Duh, man. Was that a bot placement? That that really that really gave um that really gave red the best situation here. This is so good for red. So, one of the issues with the red setup is that if we place this board out properly, he wasn't going to get adequate sheep. And his wheat, he would have a wheat problem. The 6411 solves all his problems. He gets two really good ports. He gets a 3 1 and a wood port. He gets the 11 to complement the 10, and he picks up the best sheep in the board with already having the best wheat. It's pretty much like this guy was just gifted the best setup. Now, I see what Green's doing. He's trying to take advantage of the fact that, okay, you know, maybe I can, if I calculate this properly the 5 for 11 will be open who knows like this might backfire red has shown a propensity to do some weird interesting stuff here but he should keep it simple 6 for 11 8 for 10 city buy development cards extort for the brick gg <laughs> oh my god oh my god You know he's coming for me here. This is this is what people do, man. People do this weird shit all the time. All the time. Stop it. <laughs> like he did this out of spite. This is purely out of spite. This makes no sense. Okay, now it's green. What do you block here as green? It's kind of weird, right? Um, I don't have anything good. Actually, he could hit a uh, blue here. I just don't say anything. Don't say anything. Don't say a goddamn word. <laughs> just shit. Oh, and if we're gonna now this this changes our plans a bit. Um, I think we're gonna go for the space. Um, six for eleven is a monster spot. All of this, like guys, guys, what are you doing? We've got so many good moves here. We can go to brick pour. We can go to three one. We can run to six for eleven. Um, I think we need to get rid of this brick. This brick's a little bit too precious. So I think probably the first act of business here. Um, my issue is if I go to the brick port, I think the, the five becomes a blocking target versus if we just go to the three one, uh, they're usually perceived to be less dangerous. And plus the three one's fine. It's going to port all the additional wooden sheet that we have, which we're going to have a lot of wood. And so are they. So maybe there's going to be some deals for extra wood deal, you know, getting like two wood for something so I can three for one it wild guys but yeah this is this is a great example like red gets overly reactive he did this in the last game he got so reactive that he didn't figure out how to build the best position and this is like one of the biggest mistake that newer or like less experienced players make like you got to play you the best game for you and like six for 11 such a killer spot here red is afraid of two for one ports yeah we learned that one we learned that one for sure brother dude now now the the sheep's going nuts. There we go. There we go. I kind of don't want to be the first point on the board, but maybe we will be. Bro, what? <laughs> Look, at the... <laughs> Look at the sheep situation here. This is nuts. I love playing off of 2 for one ports. Makes the game super fun. Yeah, I love... Look, ports are like my jam. I love a good port. But there's just like a weird bias that ranked players have. You know what it is? They can't... It's like a board awareness thing where they can't properly assess the threat of a port. 
So instead of like really thinking about it critically, they just like auto default to blocking it. Cause oh my god, it's two for one and not three for one. When it's like like for instance, the brick port's not that great here. Okay, like the five becomes a card, but like this guy doubling the ore and getting a three one for this position is better than me just having one roll that gives me a card of my choice. So I think you've gotta like one of the skills of Catan is learning where the value's at and what's the threat. Oh, that's expensive, brother. Bro, this this eleven. I remember what I said, I was like, there's gonna be a sheep problem. <laughs> there's gonna be a sheep problem. It's all sheep. Okay. It's always the ten here, bro. It's all it's just always the ten. It's always the ten. Always the ten. Yeah, I don't even have to say anything. Um, I feel like six four eleven woodport is your win condition. Yeah, well, the thing is, let's build up our position, then we can run for it. I don't think... The question is, what's blue going to do here? Like, I think we win the race. Bro, this, this, these rolls are nutsos. I want him to settle. If he settles first, we're good. Did the 8 roll? 8 has rolled once. He can take this trade. He can take this trade. He has an ore. Yeah, I'll take this. I'll take this. Um, I, I I got undercut, so I have to take it. Interesting. I don't know why blue wants ore there. Perfect, perfect, perfect pacing. We're we're golden. We're golden here. So now he's the target, right? You're just chilling alone. Yeah, I'm just hanging out, having a good time, hanging out with the dandy crew. Much love. Thank you for being here. Well, I'm already enjoying this game a lot more. You know, maybe I should just like remove chat from my screen. Um, I can't type where the shit. <laughs> blue, 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 blue. Uh, 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 uh. We're gonna pop a dilly here, pull a mono, call call it a good day. Call me a nice guy. It's over. It's over. <laughs> you know what? I, you know what I should have done. I should have blocked the five, but okay, no big deal. So let me ask you guys: Where do we build our roads from? The two. So there's a little secret here. Going to four six eleven. Of course we're going four six eleven. Bruh. It's like the last game. That's fine. That's fine. Go to 6-2. I think 6-2 is a little bit of a trek. Because we need... Maybe. Maybe. Also, the wood port's not bad here. Um, So we're going to maybe... So, no, I'm not doing that deal. What the hell is this deal? It's a little, like, it's a little pricey, guys. Who's this with, red? He's got no wheat, though, huh? Okay. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. So the question is, where do we go here? Probably 6411. I think picking up another source of wheat, locking this down is pretty good. This is this is a monster spot. Can't hear hear you, or is it just me? Let me double check. No, you should be able to hear me. I think it's coming in here. Everyone hear me? 
Three one decks for sure. I can hear you. We can hear you. I hear you as well. Just you, homie. <laughs> it's just you, man. You're the problem. Nice, nice. We got a monster set up here, guys. Especially if we can start to get uh, some fives roll. Oh my god, so much wood. And you know, maybe we got like a priority problem here. Like, what do we do? Where do we go is the problem. I got wood here. I'm not even getting robbed. This is great. I need them just to be buying devs and killing each other. Bro, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Um, so this would be a potential deal with red. Cool. Okay. Um, <laughs> didn't have to think about that one, children. Does this ever go through? Okay. We'll just take the port. All right. Now I think... <laughs> think we're definitely in the, the shit zone now. Um, now the question is, do we go for the wood port or the brick port? I think the answer is pretty obvious, right? We go for the wood port. And I think the biggest thing here is like road is, it's not ours fully, but it's pretty close to ours fully. And by the way, think about the nine, five, 10 city. How good is that city here with the wood port? Double the five. Uh, the 9, 10 are free cards, and then we can just run around and connect. Sheep port plus road. You guys are obsessed with the sheep port. Stop. Don't worry about the sheep port. All right, all right. Hold on. Well, you know, all right, maybe the sheep port. All right, I'll think about it. Let me think about it. <laughs> Let me think about it. I'll think about it. Bro, you better not mono sheep here. Not worth it. Where are you going? All right, what do we do with this hand? What do we do with this hand? I think I know what I do with this hand. Let's get some ideas. I want chat. I want chat to, to come in. Papa Dilly or Dev, pa Dilly, obvious. No, you're all wrong. All of you, no, I'm dead serious. You're all wrong. We actually go for the wood port. Or, look, I know the ore is good here, but you got to realize the speed of our setup once we get the, the port. Thing is, we need two fives to roll. So if we can expect, like, let's say maybe we can get a five to roll and an eight to roll, we can get the wood port this turn. Watch, it'll happen. You'll see. You'll see. Watch, 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 watch. This is this is about building the setup that gets me momentum. Wood port is momentum. Okay. As soon as we settle wood port, we got so much wood that like we're practically unstoppable. Porting for the or like let's say we pull a knight. Right? Then what? Um, it's just, just speed. I don't even care. I don't even care about your dumb block. Don't care. Didn't try to trade misplay. Yeah, you might be right there. Um, solo. Also, ports aren't scary. What up, Lundy? What up, buddy? I think that's like a... Um, I think that's like a, a good little thing is you got to be aware of like, what's your objective porting for a pop, for instance, it's like not worth it. Now I know I've said you shouldn't port for resources that you produce, but we need fives to roll twice in that situation versus like we have the port. Look at that because we ported for the brick. So now we can take advantage of some speed here, bro. I think we just got to go for it. Speed now, baby. Zoom, zoom, baby. Um, actually, can I do this slightly cheaper? I don't think anybody takes us. It's poten it's it's a potential. It's a vibe. How many wood do we have? We have I'll do this and that way it allows me to hold some sheep in my hand. Sheep's never bad. Otherwise we just port our life away here. Now they can now they can look at this. Port is live, elevens, two wheat, the six, the nine, the five, the ten. Four's also been going ham here. Look, look, look. There we go. Now, what's our next objective? We're going to get hit so hard. <laughs> Filthy setup, dude. What's the city spot? City time. Jesus Christ, it's Jason Bourne. I think I said Jace, J <laughs> I think I said uh, Jason Bourne. Jason Statham. Okay, okay. Now we just roll fives and tens. Blah, 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 blah. Do we port here for a dev? I 
I think we just hold or build. Like, port for an ore, maybe. I think the ore is good. Also, not to mention... I think we need a city. I don't like the pass, though. I think we're at six cards. We have some rolls that put us over. And the way the four is rolling, I mean, God knows what. Dude, they, they want my sheep, bruh. They want my sheep. All right, we're going to hold here. I'm feeling like the hold hold energy though i can actually do a trade with all of them no that <laughs> i got a three for one bro all right so yeah this is fine can't stop me won't stop me your sheet brings all the katan players to the yard this is going to be kind of a, a toughie though The city is going to be a pain in the butthole. I'm just, uh, I'm not lying with you here. We need rolls. The old, the old I'll trade meta. He's got to block me. Yeah, that's fine. The thing... That's also fine, too. I might pop here, but I think I'm going to get hit. All right, so where do we go next? I kind of like the sheep port play. So maybe just drop a road here if, like, we get a wood. Man, this city build is going to be tough if we're getting hit this much. I'm, I'm considering the pop here. Who's this with? Green. That's a wild trade if he takes that. Um, I'll do this as well. It's a good trade for me. I don't need the brick, but I need to start getting like city materials. It's a good trade for him. Uh, if he has a road builder, he has a yop. It might potentially play into his hand a little bit better. It's not very good for me, is it? I think the wheat's fine. I know he has an extra wheat too. I think he'll. I think he'll take it. I think he'll take it last second. Yeah. Guys, you got to know. You got to know your leverage here. Now, I am thinking... Yeah, this this is like... Going for the 11-9 doesn't make any sense. We got 78 beautiful people coming out, hanging out, having a good time. I do think, actually, if I roll a wood, I might... Ooh. Bro, we're so close. We're so close. Give it to me. Give me, give me, give me. I think I might pop here. I'm feeling pop energy here, guys. Gives insurance. Is there any way I can build a city here? I can also port the sheep. So if I, if I port here, hold on, let me think. <laughs> oh man if this trade ever went through i just laugh I, I don't think it will i think i got a port for an ore here and pass puts me at seven though bro you're not thinking clearly here brother i think i pop here guys thing is though we can probably build a city if we pass here that makes no sense blue i'm just gonna i'm gonna pass I'm just gonna pass You like that trade? Bro, oh god, the brick. The brick's a thing now. Oh, I'd do that in a heartbeat. Oh, I would take that trade. Is this a mono? What is this? Oh... Fuck. 
Maybe I should have poured it. Thank you, Kadangads. Let's go! This is not a bad deal. This is not a bad deal, guys. Not a bad deal. I think I'm I think I'm gonna be stoic as stoic AF here guys. Stoic AF guys. Oh I can't do it anymore. Alright, 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 alright. Don't get robbed. All right, all right, stay stoic. We can still do this. All right, we can definitely do this. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Losing the ore sucks there. I'm gonna give you exactly what you do. <laughs> give me the wood. All right, all right. Um, how about we do it for this? Okay, you don't have, huh? Does he have sheep? I don't think he has sheep. I think I'm like one of the few people with sheep. It's going to be an expensive city, but we'll take it. It was always the sheep port. Guys, guys, guys. I have so much wood here compared to anything else I have. Don't worry. Honestly, once we get the 9-5... Once we get this settled here... Please, Katan Gods. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm not even going to trade. I don't even care. I don't even care. I got it. I'm happy. Phrasing? Oh, what did I say? Oh my god. What did I say? Don't cancel me. Oh my god, this sheep port. Alright, so I think now we can go uh, road settle here. Five star rolling. <laughs> oh my god. I got so much wood. Oh my god, get out of here. You guys are just straight up in the gutter. Bro, what are you doing? Buy devs, buy devs. This is wild. Oh, if I get monoed here, I'm, I'm just ducked. I'm screwed. We need a five. Five would be amazing. Road settle, seven points, and we go for road. Dress produced. Yeah, I know. Well, it's the four. This, this damn four has been crushing our souls. Absolutely insane here. Please, Katan Gats. One time. Roll me a five. I think we go for the sheet board here, right? Also, the pop's not bad. I think it's the sheet board, guys. We still have road settle. It was always a wood port. The pop's not bad here.
Wow. Um, we don't need eight ten. We got plenty of wheat. Case in point, there. By the way, how good is six four eleven here? Bro, just just bro. <laughs> he is he is going to eight here, man. There we go. Yeah. Don't worry about me taking road brothers. Dude, if, if we can get if we can get a 4 here, we need to pull a VP essentially. Green about to win. I know, dude. Yeah, like Dude, red, red. You are <laughs> All right, we have to pop a dev here, guys. Oh my god. It's too easy. Like it's too easy. Now we just need the good old five to come in. This is fine. This is fine. Dreams really do come true. It's true. It's true. So what do we need here? So we need three roads, right? And that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can't count. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Okay. Three roads, three roads. We can do three roads. We can do three roads. This is, we have one mission now. You just need two rows. Oh, yeah, 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 I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Just remember, I'm dumb. Okay, okay, so five wins, five wins. Oh. Please don't block me. Oh my God. That's game, that's game. Oh, shit. Right, I have a three one. I'm not crazy. No, I'm crazy, but you know, I'm not crazy, crazy. I'm crazy, but I'm not crazy, crazy. <laughs> He's just a cope, cope. GG, go for a bro. I just, I want to be the, I want to be done. I want to be done with that game. Dude, I, green got played like a fiddle. We had a great position. Remember guys, Woodport. Remember when you got played that game. I don't, I don't even know what they're saying, man. I don't know. I mean, we had a good position. I think it just depends on, like, green going for road is a little strange to me here. Choosing bottom hip spot instead of top, which is... Oh, yeah, yeah, red. Yeah, yeah, red. Red. 6, 4, 11 is money for you. The win rate keeps going and going. Um, I, All right, guys, guys. Put it, put it to bed here. We did get robbed the most. Um, we also produced the most by like a super large margin. Fours. Fours were good. I think Red's mistake was not going. Yes. Yeah. And I mentioned that to him. Pick six, four, or 11. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Green, you did care. Yeah, it's like, but Red, you just you just made a massive mistake. You made an enemy. You made your... The 5 for 11 doesn't make sense. I mean, the only thing with the 5 for 11 is you get the brick. But there's so many ways that you can trade wheat for, for brick to get to a port. And then once you get a port, so easy. Um, you know, you just buy devs, you take army, you block the the leader. But yeah, I think this, in theory, 8, 4, 3, 9, 5, 10 is good. It's just flexible, right? I have good production. I can hit a port, kind of work the board. But once you leave me, like 6, 4, 11, the wood port, this whole situation, super good. I do think one thing that's critical here, and okay, it's like all of this is hindsight, right? That moment when we talked about porting, I actually think porting for the brick was the right play. Now we could pull monos, we can pull yops, we can pull road builders, but I think just 
pulling the knight in that situation would have been kind of shitty. Versus getting the brick kind of just expedites our game a little bit, gets to the wood port sooner. I don't know. What do you guys think? Did you you think that was still the right play, or would you have probably gone done something else? Well, look, if you're going to tell me that sheep's going to be the most rolled resource on this board, I'd call you silly. But you know, this is the this is the hard thing with Catan. Everything's like. These post game analysis, it's all kind of in hindsight of like what what you saw and what happened. Funny how close blue got. No, blue's. I think I like blue's setup if he can kind of get it up and running. We talked about some of the issues. Keep in mind, the three rolled a lot. Let's go check out the three. Like, the three was a great roll on this board. Like, the three actually outrolled the brick, um, which is kind of silly that we had more sheep than the brick. Or the wheat, for that matter. We had the more sheep than anything else. So I think the three was definitely pivotal for him. Um, the nine was okay. The nine was pretty solid, too. Yeah, you, you get good rolls once he gets the setup up and running. Three outrolled the eight. Yeah, 11 was good, too. I think we got a lot. <laughs> Bruh. What am I talking about? The 11 was insane. I just remember getting a lot of wheat from that. 